Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the previous lesson. I hope you had a lot of fun with using your everyday experiences and circumstances and relationships and even your own thoughts and your own negative emotions and your own bad feelings and your own beliefs as all being appearances, therefore confirming that you always already are aware. This is a crucial exercise and I encourage you to continue to try this out during after day, during everyday life even after this lesson, even after this course, even after you've already proceeded with different courses. It's such a potent practice and you can use it with everything that whenever you feel like there's a tightness, like there is a unclarity in terms of what you truly are, simply use that feeling of unclarity as an appearance confirming the spaciousness of awareness. So for this lesson, I wanna share with you a very potent, powerful cutting through type of practice that I discovered during my own seeking journey. And I found that this is actually more beneficial or it's more direct for many people as a practice to gain deeper experience and conviction in the always already present nature of the enlightenment they're looking for. So the exercise is very simple, it's very short, but you can repeat it over and over and over again, as with most of these practices that I share. So this is all you're going to do. You're gonna relax or not, doesn't even really matter. But what you're going to recognize or what you're going to ask yourself rather is, can I not be aware of this moment? In other words, you actively try to not be aware right now. Try it right now with this video. Try very hard not to be aware. Be as unenlightened as you can be. Think as many bad thoughts as you wanna have. Create emotions, conjure up trauma. Be unconscious, try to be as unconscious as you can. But keep checking in with yourself if it's working, if it's actually allowing you to not be aware of this moment. Try that right now. You're hearing my voice. You may be thinking lots of thoughts. Think about something far, far away maybe, like a fantasy or like a, like a traumatic past experience. Doesn't matter, whatever you equate to un being unconscious, try to conjure that up, that experience. Try to be as unconscious as you can be and keep checking in with yourself if it's working, if it's eliminating awareness of this moment, if it's canceling out awareness of this moment. Try not to be aware of my voice right now. Try really hard not to be aware of my voice right now, of this moment, of this now, of this experience. Even if you close your ears and you don't hear what I'm saying, even if you close your eyes and you don't see my lips move on the screen, still you will be aware of that moment. Things will have changed in your experience, but you cannot eliminate the awareness of this moment. I'll give you a couple of additional micro exercises to amplify this effect. So right now you have your eyes open and you're either looking at me at the screen or if you're listening to the audio version of this video, then you're looking at whatever you're looking at. So you have your eyes open. Now recognize that you're aware of what you're seeing. You're aware of the fact that your body is perceiving visual stimuli. You are aware of this moment, in other words. You are aware of the body having visual perception. Now, close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, notice that that same awareness, that same cognizance, that same ability to recognize is still present. But now, you simply change something in your visual experience. You quote unquote closed your eyes and therefore, what you're aware of now is closed eyes. Is the experience of now containing the experience or the appearance of closed eyes. But the same awareness, notice the same awareness of having your eyes closed. Now, when you open them again, do that right now, open your eyes. You can notice that that same awareness is still here. Now close your eyes again. Same awareness is still aware. Now it's aware of having eyes closed and slowly open your eyes, slow, as slowly as you can, like take 20 seconds to open them fully. And notice that that same awareness is still aware as you gradually open your eyelids. Open, 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 further, further, further. And now all the light pours into your eyeballs again. 
and you are still aware of that experience. You cannot not be aware of this experience. Now close your eyes again. You cannot be aware. You cannot not be aware, excuse me. You cannot not be aware of this experience. Try hard to not be aware of closing and opening your eyes. You can't do it. It's impossible. So you see, awareness is, in fact, inescapable. I love this word. Awareness is inescapable. It means you can't escape it. You can't get rid of it. You can't, therefore, also try to find it back. So the illusion of trying to find back what cannot be lost, what cannot be escaped, is kind of a paradox. It's kind of ironic. And it keeps that seeking energy alive in a rather tense way for most people. So simply through the use of these very simple but profound and concise exercises that I share with you during this chapter and during this course in general, simply by applying this over and over and over and over and over again, may sound like a chore, but actually can be really, really fun because what it introduces you to is the natural state of your being, the ease of your being. It gives you a great sense of empowerment, of confidence, of immortality, of transcendence, of things not really mattering that much to you. You become impartial in a holistic way, in a good way. You don't mind what happens anymore. Krishnamurti, Jiddu Krishnamurti once said, you want to know what my secret is? It is that I don't mind what happens. Awareness works in a similar way, like realizing awareness is exactly what he was talking about and what he embodied, which is seeing everything in a sense with impartial eyes. Doesn't mean you don't have any preferences, but it means that you know that your true fundamental nature is undistracted, it's unlimited, it's inescapable, and it does not change with the changing of appearances. Awareness itself remains and therefore you can be more in a state of not really minding what happens even if you still have preferences, which is great. Preferences are a way of life and I'll share more about that in the empowerment teaching and courses. However, for the purpose of this course, what you need to know and realize is that the stability of your true being never leaves you, never changes and is in that sense impartial or neutral to the appearances of life. And by trying hard to not be aware, it's one of the most profound, simple, hilarious confirmations I have found of the fact that I cannot find what I'm looking for because I already am what I'm looking for because I never lost what I'm looking for. So again, as you can have guessed by now, the homework for this lesson will be for you to simply sit down for maybe 15 minutes straight um, as in a meditation session and try for 15 minutes straight to go in all the corners of your mind, all the corners of your emotional body, all the corners of your circumstances, project wherever you want to project your consciousness, whatever you want to imagine. Think whatever you want to think, but keep checking in with yourself every 10 seconds or so if it's working. So you try to distract yourself, you try to not be aware of this moment, but then you keep checking in whether or not you have successfully become unaware. And of course, you already know that this is impossible, but still to actually try it out and actually experience it firsthand over and over and over again is very confirming, it's very pleasant, it's very enjoyable, and it increases your conviction tenfold when you really exercise this practice. So have fun with this once again, and feel free to, again, with any exercise, even when I don't mention it, you can feel free to write down a few paragraphs of your experience of what you realized, what changed in your experience, what stood out to you, what did you notice, what beliefs disappeared, what beliefs were exposed to be false beliefs, etc. So have fun with this and I'll see you in the next lesson.